I was surprised, but then not surprised when I learned of the role that the CBC played. And I just want to read something from the TikTok that was uh, written about this in the New York Times uh, about the plan that the CBC uh, proposed. It says, the black lawmakers proposed a plan that initially seemed far too timid and convoluted, pass the infrastructure bill immediately, then hold a good faith procedural vote on the larger bill that would have to suffice before its final vote in November. And I clung to the, this phrasing, too timid and convoluted. But to my mind, it, it sounded extremely pragmatic on, on the part of black elected officials to get stuff moving. How did this idea come, come about? Well, we have a strong Congressional Black Caucus. We have six members of the Congressional Black Caucus who make up major chairmanships on the committees. We also have our Democratic uh, Caucus chair, Hakeem Jeffries, and of course, the most powerful black man in Congress, our Majority Whip, Jim Clyburn. Jim Clyburn and I talk all the time, whether it's with just the two of us or the White House uh, lead administrative team or the president. So that day he said, we need to talk. Uh, I have been pushing for an idea. Let's talk about it. And we formulate it because all along we wanted both bills to pass. We understand the value of BIF to Americans and especially black Americans when you talk about jobs and broadband and lead out of the water for children. And so we thought it was important to work with everyone. Look, we're all colleagues, whether you're a moderate, whether you're a progressive, whether you're a member of the Congressional Black Caucus or Tri Caucus. So this was an effort of putting all our diverse caucuses together and us taking a leadership role to talk about what would be palatable and make sense for everyone to pass the BIF, but also it was important to have the trust and say we would vote on the rule to allow the bill back better to come to a vote. So our role was let's get the rule passed, let's also get the BIF passed. And we saw some combination of that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of work went into this with all of the members. But yes, we took a major leadership role. We sat down with the speaker for hours, as other caucuses did. But it was important for us. We represent 17 million black Americans and 80 Americans. And we wanted America to know that the oldest and larger member caucus in the Congress was not just sitting back idle. You know, you used a word that we heard a lot last week, and I'm sure we're going to hear a lot going forward as the Build Back Better Act continues to be debated and negotiated, and that is the word trust. Is trust truly there to get a deal done and passed out of the Senate and out of the House and onto the president's desk for his signature? Well, I can tell you, uh, speaking as the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus and for majority of uh, the members, we have to have trust. It's like looking at a glass. Is the glass half empty or half full? I always look at it as half full, and we just have to fill it up. And so I think this was an amazing start. When you look at the number of members of our caucus and the Congress who voted in favor of the bipartisan emphasis, structure. And for those who didn't, I understand that they have differences, and that's okay. They are all a part of our big tent with the Congressional Black Caucus. I am very comfortable that we will pass the bill back better. There is no one who could be against transformational legislation that's going to provide $400,000 for pre-K for children. When you think about taking children almost 40 percent out of poverty, when you think about that we're going to be able to give funds to many of our Americans with the child tax credit, when you think about some 35 million families will receive that, and we talk about climate change, $555 billion HBCUs receiving more money than ever, Pell Grants, 
and housing, housing cuts across the universe. And we know that a member of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, has been very instrumental in guiding the entire caucus and certainly the Congressional Black Caucus with that, as well as many of our other members. When we talk about education and labor, Congresswoman, Congressman Bobby Scott, out in the front, fighting for HBCUs, Pell Grants, and so much more. I could say something about every one of our chairs and all of our members have been involved with this. And that's why it was important for us to be in the forefront, because we have our fingerprints and footprints in every piece of this legislation. And you provided the the idea that got the folks from battling each other to actually coming up with a plan that act, that got the bipartisan infrastructure bill voted on by the House and a signing ceremony will be held at some point at the at the White House uh, so that that law that bill becomes law. Congressman Joyce Beatty, chair but of the me, congressional. Let me just say this. Let me say real this. fast because we're already we out have of time. Several Several caucuses and everybody was fully engaged. Thank you.